Hello, this is Maria Lilia Prun with you today, and welcome to the Old Treasures YouTube Hop. I will show you how I made my altered sewing machine. An old sewing machine I used to have, I used to uh, work on it, but it's uh, really uh, damaged now, so I decided to turn it into an art piece. First of all, I took some um, acrylic uh, color, some, some paint, just a regular one I had uh, at home, brown one, but I needed uh, something darker. So I added some um, black uh, dry paint in it and uh, it turned into something uh, brownish, uh, greenish, as you can see. Uh, when the machine is dry, I um, took a crackle medium. It's quite an old one, I used to have it at home, but um, um, I thought uh, I will just uh, use it all on this machine because I don't really use it anywhere else. Um, and as you can see, when I put it onto the um, dried um, surface, um, it activated the black uh, um, pigment in the dry paint and um, mm, it really brought the dark color uh, forward, uh, so the effect is really nice. I don't really mind if there will be no crackle afterwards, because the medium is quite old, uh, but I like this um, marbling effect which I got uh, after the dry pigment was activated by this medium. Now I need to get some um, paper decorations for my um, uh, for my project. I've, I took a, a sheet of paper, a pattern paper by um, Fabrica Decoro and, and cut out some um, leaves, some mushrooms, some uh, autumnal elements, really nice ones. Um, I also took some chipboards by Fabrica Decoro as well um, and uh, uh, used a scalpel to cut them out of the board. Um, later on I took the same um, dark brown uh, paint um, and uh, just uh, painted the chipboard all over with this acrylic paint. So the chipboard uh, is dry, it's really strong and it's uh, not uh, that fragile anymore and uh, it's also quite nice brown. I um, mm, uh, covered my um, sewing machine again with this acrylic uh, uh, paint I had at the beginning hoping that maybe I could get some crackles because I had this uh, crackle medium on the surface. Here you can see that I took some, I made some um, clay uh, figurines using a self-hardening clay and the silicone molds. And uh, after they were dry, I uh, painted them with uh, the same acrylic, uh, brown acrylic color as in the beginning. These will be just some smaller additions to my um, sewing machine, but uh, uh, you have to um, paint them really well, uh, avoiding any white uh, spots left, because they will really disturb the look in the end. Now, when the decorations are ready, I take um, Heavy Body Gel by Prima. I really like it for gluing uh, uh, really um, dimensional decorations. And uh, um, I don't really even use any uh, brushes, I use my fingers. I just uh, um, uh, glue all the clay decorations onto the dry surface of the sewing machine with this uh, heavy body gel. It needs some time to harden, so um, uh, it's, uh, uh, you have to be careful with the decorations you glue on. They can uh, fall off from a 3D uh, object easily, so just be careful and uh, don't move them around much before they are dry. Here are some uh, natural branches I use. Um, I also glue them on, glue them on uh, with the same heavy body gel. Uh, they are dry. I've picked them up uh, somewhere on the beach and uh, just let them dry outside. I also glue the paper decorations using the same uh, gel and also covering uh, uh, the paper from the front side with the gel um, 
like varnish in it so they will not suffer very much when I add some uh, water paint in the uh, future um, it's really easy to use the same type of glue on every detail it really fastens the process um, as you can see I try to create some um, volume with the decorations I don't really stick them really tight onto the surface but I let the um, edges loose uh, so there is some air between the leaves between the uh, branches Also cheaper, um, acrylic paint colored cheaper uh, makes a wonderful addition to my autumnal piece. So uh, you can see I also glue it uh, just the same as I do the as I glue the um, paper decorations. Now I just add some more uh, um, gel everywhere onto the cap uh, cavities to uh, stick the pieces better, they are still moving, so I need uh, to let them dry. And some natural um, materials, some smaller pine cones would make a nice addition also. Here are some more decorations, um, textile and uh, paper leaves, beads, uh, an old necklace, some um, metallic embellishments. Uh, these ones I will glue with a hot melt uh, glue gun. Uh, it's uh, faster and uh, uh, it's uh, quite appropriate for an art piece which I'm not going to use every day. I mean it's not functional art piece, this sewing machine will be just a decoration. So the hot melt glue gun is okay. The hot glue leaves some threads all over the surface, some glue threads. It's okay, I will remove them later when they are dry. It's an old treasure YouTube hope, so I needed I just needed to eat some jewelry onto the piece. Here is my old necklace, I loved it very much, but it was broken some time ago and I decided I don't want to wear it anymore, I want to I want to decorate my piece with it. Some hanging jewelry also makes the object more playful. And some more autumnal leaves. These ones are made of uh, mulberry paper, I think. These are dried uh, poppies, actually, and uh, I uh, really like to use them quite uh, a lot. Uh, hot glue gives you an opportunity to glue decorations at different angles and it's really um, uh, nice that you can be really versatile with this.
Here is uh, some uh, transparent uh, matte medium by Fabrica de Coro. Uh, it's a nice uh, uh, glue to glue on um, moss, for example. Here is some dried moss I glue on my um, sewing machine to create more um, foresty look. Um, you can just use any other uh, PVA glue for this or uh, a gel medium, why not? But I had this uh, uh, Fabrica Decoro medium and it works just fine. Some more moss here and there. Um, it's nice to cover um, some uh, hot melt uh, glue traces with it. Here are some uh, Fabric Decoro um, spray inks. Um, I use uh, flat sprays and uh, metallic sprays to uh, color basically the whole piece um, so that uh, the decoration uh, uh, don't blend in together. I use brown, green and uh, golden and uh, now you can see the piece is already uh, more homogenic. Now I need to add some toppings. Um, I have a quartz topping mix and a marble toppings from Fabrica Decoro and um, I glue them onto the uh, glossy transparent uh, acrylic medium. Um, you can also use any other gel for that and as toppings you can use any kind of uh, um, sand, uh, uh, other particles, art stones, um, marble, uh, powder, just anything you can find maybe in the kitchen like uh, rice or poppy seeds. Um, here I also add some um, smaller um, wooden particles if you noticed. Uh, here and there, everywhere, just uh, to um, smoothen the um, borders between the pieces of decorations, uh, the toppings really bring it all together. Okay, here are some um, alcohol inks by Ranger and uh, a ranger patina as well, I use them both a dark brown one and uh, uh, um, pink patina will be later I just uh, add uh, some color here and there and make it flow with uh, pure alcohol uh, you can also use water for this but uh, alcohol is always better it uh, makes the colors uh, um, less uh, dim in the end when they are dry I always uh, color my metallic embellishments with uh, alcohol inks. It's also a very nice way to uh, heat the, uh, the um, glue traces, hot glue traces, traces, if you have still them visible somewhere. Uh, it's very easy to recolor them with uh, dark alcohol ink and they will not be visible anymore. Some platina here and there. Um, this is uh, um, called acrylic paint, some sparks paint in Aver, Prima Marketing and I add some highlights with it, especially onto the edges of my um, metallic embellishments, onto the edges of flowers and leaves. Uh, these small highlights make a wonderful addition to the final piece, um, it's just something that uh, brings uh, more sun, more light into your art object. I try to use my, uh, I try to make my brush almost uh, dry when I add this, so there will be not too much color. Now some more toppings. Uh, I put some medium, acrylic medium, on the surface here and there, and then add some micro beads. These ones, these green, green ones, are by uh, Prima Marketing, and uh, uh, also I use some uh, um, golden glass glitter. 
uh, its particles are quite big so they are um, really striking I don't need uh, too much of them uh, but some smaller um, additions of uh, glitter on your art piece Final detail is uh, um, glass drops by um, Fabrica Decoro. When they are dry, they will create nice uh, uh, drops of dew on the leaves in my autumnal forest. That's it, we are done. This is the final look of the project. It was Maria Lillebrun with you today. Thank you for watching our YouTube Hope. Please visit all the other videos and uh, good luck with the prizes from, from our fabulous sponsors. If you like this video, please also subscribe to my YouTube channel for more like this to come. Have a wonderful, colorful, creative autumn.